Hey everyone, so today I'll be making a video of me uh, replacing the joystick, the D-pad, and the four buttons on my PS4 controller here. Uh, I ordered some spare par parts online, and uh, as you can see, these are all made out of metal. So they actually have a really nice weight to them, a really nice finish. Uh, I imagine they're pretty durable as well. And uh, I wanted to replace this controller because some of the joysticks, as you can see, the rubber is starting to peel off and I want to replace that. And before I begin disassembling the controller, I just wanted to make a quick comparison with the, uh, the buttons here. So I have an actual bullet uh, casing here that I picked up from when I went to the gun range. I just want to compare the two diameters here side by side. As you guys can see, the diameter is pretty similar actually. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, knowing that you know the buttons on your PS4 controller are similar to the real thing. I think that adds to like the authenticity of the buttons. Gives it a bit more realism. But yeah, anyways, now I will start to disassemble the controller. So the first step, you wanna grab a Phillips screwdriver and you want to unscrew the screws positioned here, 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 and here. Okay, as you can see, I've already done that, so I'll just proceed to the next step, which is to open this controller. Now, this is probably the hardest part because uh, it's quite open, it's quite hard to crack open, but basically what you want to do, you want to start from these two handles first. So you want to start from here, and you want to start from here. And then you, you basically want to work your way up. Now you might hear a loud crack, but that's not that that that's no worry. It's basically just like the locking clips um being opened. So you should hear a loud crack uh if you eventually open it, just like that. Okay. So as you guys can see, I'm just working my way through the controller. Hopefully I didn't break anything. And then as you guys can see, it pretty much comes open. You want to open it up this way actually, because the battery pack should be lying down. Now as you can as you guys can see, this is what it looks like. Oh, yikes, I think I just um there's a blue ribbon here, okay? Do you guys see that blue ribbon? You basically want to disconnect that. So pull, pull it out. All right, there we go. Now the next step is to disassemble, or sorry, um, unplug the battery pack. So to do this, you actually need to squeeze it and then pull upward. Okay, so uh, I finally managed to uh, pull the battery out. It's actually a really, really small, like um piece so if you have like really fat fingers it's going to be hard for you to grab a hold of it but what i basically did i used my left hand and uh there was the most opening if you use your left and i basically pinched as hard as i can onto these two sides here and i just yanked upward and eventually it came out so here's the battery we can put that aside the next step is to unscrew this piece right here this piece so let me just do that Okay. Now that we have that unscrewed, the next step is to remove this black piece right here. You basically just want to pull upward to remove it. Okay. Now that we have that piece removed, you want to grab a spudger and then unclip, um, 
Hold on. And basically unclip this piece. This piece right here. You want to remove that. So we we uh you open the 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 gray latch over here. Okay. Oh, sorry. I was a bit mistaken. Um you're supposed to open the white latch here. So so the white piece that you see there, you were supposed to open that like this, and then the ri the ribbon, you should be able to pull it out. Okay, so once we have that, this entire piece should come off. Okay, just like that. And then now, now we can essentially just uh, remove like the joysticks directly. This is really easy, you just pull upward. I just want to be gentle though. Okay, so you just pull upward. And then on this one. Oh, geez. So that's what that looks like. And then with these thumbsticks, you put them on like so. Okay, so now we have that. Now to for the buttons, we, we want to take this piece right here. Um, if you're, if like your touchpad falls out, I believe you can put it back in place. How did this piece even go? I believe it goes in like that. I believe it goes in like that. Um, as for the options and share, you can put those back in as well. But they are not interchangeable. There's only one way for them to fit. And you'll know. Okay, so in this case, I did it wrong. Wait. Okay, there. Yeah, these share and option buttons, they might fall out. So you just want to put those back in. And then as for the D-pad and the buttons here, you want to remove like the rubber pad attached to it. And then that basically comes out. Grab this piece, put it in. Put this piece back on. Make sure it's nice and secure. And then you want to grab this one. And then we can replace these four buttons as well. Let me just make sure I don't mess this up. Okay. There we go. Those for buttons now. We have the bullet kind of casing, nine mil nine millimeter Luger. Um, okay, after I finally figured out how to put those in, um each one has like a specific kind of like carving. Uh yeah, like as you can see the buttons, they're not all identical. So each one matches to each hole. So just look out for that. And then you wanna apply this rubber pad on there. Make sure it's nice and secure. And um, once we have that, we just work in reverse really. That, that's pretty much all that's left. So I have, I have this piece from before. Okay, we just put that into here. Wait, this one kind of falls down. Okay. okay. Okay, so after a couple of minutes, uh, I was able to basically get these two pieces together. The issue was that since these thumbsticks are made out of metal, every time you went like this, the thumbsticks will actually fall out. But then if I held the, uh, the outside shell upward this way, the options and share button would also fall out. So I kind of had these two opposing forces. 
um, countering each other, what I basically did, I held them sideways and I put it in like this. That way the thumbsticks wouldn't fall out and the share and option bu buttons also wouldn't fall out this way. Uh, just a couple things to note, when you insert it, you also want to make sure you pass this ribbon through. So if this ribbon doesn't go through the hole that's here, uh, you have to do it again, essentially. So after I managed to pass the ribbon through, uh, you want to put this ribbon cable back into the slot and then uh, close down the, the white latch. Okay, like the, the cream colored latch, you just want to push that down. Uh, once you have like a nice secure fit on there, you can basically start working in reverse with everything. So the next step would be to put this piece back on. Make sure it fits and everything. And then you want to grab the screw here. Screw from before. And you basically want to screw that in. Make sure everything fits in properly before you screw it in. Okay, and then you should get a general feeling of what your controller will feel like. I'm pretty satisfied with how it is so far. Everything feels pretty good. Yeah, everything feels pretty nice. And then now you want to take the battery that you have here. Oh, wrong way. You want to put it here. Okay. And then put the latch in. So push it down, make sure it's all the way. Okay. And then now the final step, you have the shelf from before, right? You want to take this blue cable, this blue ribbon, and insert it into this slot where this blue side, this exposed blue side is facing outward. This this blue side, it's facing outward like this. So that's how you want it to look like. So, uh, I was able to get it in. Essentially, you want the end result to look like that where the blue uh, ribbon is facing the right side here of the, the controller. And then so now, so now uh, when you assemble it, when you put it back, you want to align from the top first. Make sure those pieces click in uh, properly. And then you work your way downward. Then make sure everything is secure and locked in. And then you just screw in these four screws back and then your controller is good to go pretty much. Um, yeah, I like, I like it, especially the thumbsticks, actually. These thumbsticks are probably my favorite part. The extra weight definitely, uh, feels like you have a bit more control of your movement. And if I press the power button, everything turns on. As you guys can see, everything works just fine. I would say the bullet, uh, the bullet buttons are, like, the ones that feel, like, a bit stranger. Because the regular buttons, like, they're not perfectly flat. They actually have, like, a curve to them a little bit. While these ones, these buttons, they're completely flat. The bullet buttons, they're, they're perfectly flat. So th these ones definitely feel a bit different. The D-pad honestly feels the same. And then the thumbsticks, I would say they're pretty big improvement. They feel really nice to the hand. But anyways, yeah, guys, that's the video. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video.